So every year, alhamdulillah, we try to look around um, the, the network in the United States and try to see what we should do in, in developing a theme for the program. And every year, um, it's something that the organizers take great pride in determining what we think our attendees really want to hear. And um, it's something that's kind of a census that's taken, and based off of that, we determine our theme for every year. Ever since the convention shifted into Baltimore, uh, we were here in 2014, and it was a great trial run. Um, but in 2015, right before the ICNA convention came over here, um, the city of Baltimore was in a, a lot of uh, uh, unrest. Um, there, were, uh, there was the Freddie Gray situation that happened, um, which led to some riots and, and just uncomfortable feelings in the city. And ICNA Relief felt that it was very important to give back to the city that we are coming to every single year year with 20,000 Muslims. With giving back and charity being so essential in our deen, um, it was really irresponsible for us to come here and not do something. So ever since 2015, alhamdulillah, this is the third straight year, we've done some sort of activity to give back to the city of Baltimore. We started with just 500 blessing bags filled with essential items that we went out and gave to everyone. Um, to this year, we gave out 750 blessing bags to the homeless population in Baltimore City, and we followed that the next day with 1,000 hot meals to, this, to the homeless population in the city of Baltimore. Um, just another thing that we're trying to do to leave our impact as Muslims because service is the best part uh, of Islam. It's the best way to give da'wah. So in 2014, um, we had uh, Ustad Hamza Zordis uh, come to the Baltimore Convention and he, that was the first year that he led a da'wah workshop. Um, and that really transformed into something beautiful with Y Islam. Uh, what happened was everyone who was a part of that workshop went to the Inner Harbor in Baltimore City, a big famous landmark of the city of Baltimore, and they were able to interact with hundreds, maybe thousands of non-Muslims. Um, they all wore their t-shirts that signified who they were, Muslims that were there to interact with people and to talk to people and their sh to share the love for Islam that they have. Um, and it's really sparked into a tradition. So, um, alhamdulillah, we've recently been also be able to add uh, Sheikh Fahad Taslim to the efforts, and um, he's been great in teaching these Dawa workshops and taking out groups of large, large, large groups of people um, into the city to interact with people. Um, and it's been a great way f for people to really harbor some skills about how they can teach the word of Islam to non-Muslims, but also get some great practice. The Ikna Bazaar, um, it's a big part of the convention. Uh, we have um, so many different booths and vendors from all over. Uh, we have lots of vendors um, that are coming from the West Coast and all throughout the East Coast as well. Um, what happens is we have our own Ikna entities that are also a part of the Bazaar as well. So you'll see your Ikna Relief, you'll see your Helping Hand, you'll see Why Islam, um, you'll see um, all these different Ikna Social Justice Council, all these guys are spread out in the Bazaar, but we know that this is a great opportunity for everyone to get ready for lots of different things. Um, you can buy clothing for all different kinds of different events and ceremonies um, and you can also prep for Ramadan um, which has been something so great about this convention. So the bazaar is a great opportunity for you to get your Muslim essentials. Um, it's really an, an opportunity for you to one-stop shop uh, to get everything going. There is, uh, on the second page of our program uh, booklet, there's uh, a group of names that are set up for teams. One very essential part of this is speaker hospitality and protocol. Um, and this has to do with booking flights and hotels and, and speaker buddies to make sure that our speakers, alhamdulillah, are taken care of and um, they are comfortable throughout their stay. Sometimes we do tend to ask a lot from our speakers by booking them in sessions back to back to back, um, but they've been so gracious to us and they, they allow allow us the opportunity to host them and invite them back here for all of ours benefit. This year's theme is 50 years, sharing Islam, serving humanity. Also featuring youth conference, huge bazaar. Register today and get 15% off at icnaconvention.org.